everybody, welcome to workout number one. Workout number one is in two parts. Part A is a strength test, so you'll need a kettlebell and a band for it. And workout number two, or B, is a bodyweight only uh, cardio test. As always, we do a fitness test at the beginning and end of each block to find out where you are now and hopefully at the end show some progression in terms of fitness and strength. Um, so I'm going to run through a quick warm up and you can then get on with either test or both um, and then we'll do a quick cool down at the end. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Start warming up by circling the arms just as normal, brushing past your ears and change direction. Front crawl, slight bend in the knees, keep that core tight. Back crawl and breaststroke, take it around out and wide. And reverse and elbows up. Just take all the way around, look right over that shoulder, both directions. This time all the way around, arms up above your head, stretch it out. And back round, swap it over, big stretch. And bring it back round the centre, come up onto your toes. Knees all the way up, opposite hand. And up, out and round, loosen off the hips. And lunge it back, knee to the floor, stand up. And jog in the spot. Kick out in front, kick your bums, and kick out in front again. Jog in the spot, bring your knees up halfway, and all the way. Three, two, one, split, five, four, three, two, one, touch the floor, and up the floor, big stretch, one last time, and up the club, jump and drop. Jog in the spot, jump and jacks, jog in the spot, <laughs> and rest it there. Okay, good luck with the workout, and I look forward to hearing how you all score. So, your first movement is a deadlift, okay? Now, if you are using the kettlebell for this, all we're going to do is as many reps as you can. So, starting off in that position, bent legs, head, chest up, back straight. Bring the weight up to your thighs and squeeze the glutes at the top, okay? As many times as you can. Now, there's no time limit on this. What we're looking for is to tire those muscles, really focus on fatiguing them. Do as many reps as you can. As soon as you stop, even if it's just to tie your shoelace, that's you, okay? So you want to be moving for as long as you possibly can. Even if you're on a light weight, if you're starting to get really high reps, this is going to be tricky, okay? So we want to get as many reps in as possible. If you're using a band, we're going to change that exercise to good morning. So we stand on it, we bring the band overhead, okay? We lean forward, so exactly the same movement, and back up. Same posterior chain, so same work in the calves, the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back, just slightly different if you have a band rather than a kettlebell, okay? If you have two variations of weights or two weights of kettlebell, for example, we want you to try and do whatever one's hardest, okay? So if your band is harder than that kettlebell, choose the one that's hardest for you. Next one I'll show you here with the band first is bicep curls. So exactly the same movement for each, depending on what you've got. Bicep curls, keeping the elbows nice and tight, close to the body. Up and squeeze, okay? working these biceps, okay? If you're using the kettlebell, exactly the same, up and back down. If you've got two, you can obviously do two at once. If you don't, then you're gonna swap sides, okay? Again, choose the heaviest option here, the one that's gonna be more tricky for you. The point of this is to see, it's a test of strength, okay? When we come to do this at the end, we want you to be able to do slightly more than what you were at the beginning. Uh, squat next, so we'll do the band since I'm still stood on it. Bring your elbows through, feet as they would be in a normal squat position. Down, up, squeeze the glutes, okay? As many reps as you can do. Again, kettlebell, same movement, keeping it close to the chest. 
and it's as many reps as possible. So obviously again, the higher the weight, the harder this is going to be. Overhead press, start position same, okay, and up, squeeze the glutes, keep that core nice and strong. Again, as many as you can do, just until failure, okay, until so you're so fatigued that you can't do any more. With the kettlebell, same again, up, put the head through the top, and back down, okay. So, as many reps as you can do, four exercises, count the reps, keep a note of them, we're going to repeat this again in the final week, just to see how you compare. It's a bit boring, but it's a test of strength, okay? So only way we can really see your maximum effort with each of these movements. So, go we'll give it a bash, and join me back shortly for a cool down. Okay, well done, I'm completing those fitness tests, or one of the fitness tests. Um, we're just going to run through a short cool down, pretty standard cool down, um, stretch out all the muscles, joints, bring the heart rate back down. Um, so yeah, let's start with a couple of ankle rotations. Both directions, and then point and flex. Swap over, other side, couple of ankle rotations, both directions, and then point and flex. Bring one foot out in front of the other, back leg slightly bent, lean forward into that stretch. Keep your head and chest up. Stretch out the back of your calves, up into your hamstrings, glutes and lower back. You may need to dig your heel in further to feel the stretch. Sink down lower, but always maintain that posture. So head, chest up, shoulders back. Okay, hold it there. Breathe through it. And up you come. Swap over, other side. Head and chest up. Squeeze it out, breathe through it. Remember to breathe through these cool downs. Quite important. <laughs> Hold it there. And up you come. Bring one foot up behind you. You can hold on to something if you want to. This time stretch out the quads so from the knee up towards the hips. If you can't feel that stretch, pull the knee further behind. Hold it there. Breathe through it. Nice. After all those squats, you're probably going to benefit from this stretch quite a lot. And press it there. Swap over. Other side, exactly the same. Breathe through it. And release. Bring your knees up out and round, just loosen off the hips. Kick up behind you. And then shake out in front. Bring one hand onto your leg, one hand up. Stretch out the obliques, right up the side. Core and spine, hold it there. Squeeze it out, breathe through it. And over you go, swap it over. Up you come. Elbows up, rotate all the way around, look right over that shoulder, bring your arms up above your head. Back down to centre, swap it over, arms up. Back down to centre and release. Clasp your hands in front, push away, look down towards the floor. Feel it stretch out your upper back as you squeeze your shoulder blades apart. And release. Clasp your hands behind you. Push away. Squeeze the shoulder blades together this time. Feel it stretching out. Continue into the upper back, but more importantly, right across your chest. And especially after all the upper body work, it's important not to miss out the chest while we do the upper back and shoulders. So hold it there. Breathe through it. And release. Bring one hand across, push in, look over the shoulder. Just stretch it deep into the shoulders. Hold it there. Try and avoid your elbows. We don't want to put pressure onto any of the joints. 
So just in the middle of the forearm, hold it strong, and release, flop over. Breathe through it. So the idea here is that the test of fitness is repeated again at the end of the block. Do these couple of shoulder rotations. Uh, we'll repeat this again. Last workout in week four. You can see how much you've improved. Um, but as always, if you're struggling, change direction. If you're struggling with any of the movements, you're unsure of anything, please let us know. I still offer an analysis service. So if you want to film anything, change direction and send me a video of you doing something just to get some opinion or feedback on form and technique, then please do so. I'd much rather to do that and allow you to be moving safely at home than perhaps giving yourself an injury. So don't worry about it. Get in touch if you need anything at all. I'll see you back soon for workout number two.